Okay, I open up the meeting uh, of the Carroll County Board of Commissioners, and I would move that we go into non-public session under uh, RSA 91A32C, matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person other than a member of the public body. And this is basically for evaluations uh, and personnel. Now, I guess the personnel would fall under that same RSA. And we'll do last week's minutes next week? Yes. Okay. Do I hear a second to the motion? Second. For discussion, um, I believe one of these may be coming in for compensation, but I'm not sure, which would be RSA 91A32A. And you got 91, the first one was first what, one, David? First one is RSA 91A32C. 2C. Which would be based on adversely the reputation of any person. Yeah. And under RSA 91A32A, the dismissal, promotion, or compensation of any public employee. Okay. I don't believe there's any discipline action to be taken. Okay. Well, shall we vote? All those in support of the motion. Go. go ahead, roll call. <laughs> okay. Um, Going in a non-public, uh, Commissioner Sorensen? Yes. Commissioner Babson? Yes. And we're going in a non-public. And also we will not be coming into public session once we've completed the... Uh, Won't you come back to say we've sealed the minutes? Or? Yes, yes we will. Yeah. Okay. Um, session, and I believe it was for uh, 91A, 32C, and 329. One was, um, no, that's what we yeah, went in right. for. I wrote down what we went in for. RSA 91A, 32C, right? 2C, and, and 29. Uh, two A, two is it? I to say ninety one A three two A. Two A. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, we're coming out. Um, Asher is non public. Yep. Okay. One second. second. Any further discussion? Roll call. Commissioner Kenny, yes. Commissioner Sorsen. Yes. Commissioner Batson. Yes. Now, would somebody make a motion? I will make a motion that we seal the minutes of. Um, the non-public of meeting. July 13th of the non-public session. Do we hear a second? Second. Seconded. Roll call. Commissioner Kenny, yes. Commissioner Sorsen. Yes. Commissioner Buxton. Yes. Okay. We're in public. We have two items that, I'm not sure it's two items. Um, yes, there are two items, I'm sorry. One is that um, is a PREA meeting coming up, um, and uh, tell them what PREA is. I can't. Prison or something, uh, rape and... Uh, <laughs> Prison Rape Elimination Act, PREA. Uh, it affects our Sheriff's Department, and it affects our jail primarily. Uh, there's a training session coming up September 8th and 9th. Um, and where is it going to be held? I hope it's Hawaii. Primex facility training uh, at, uh, in Concord. Um, this will be sent to um, the chairman of the delegation, so she's aware of it. Also to the subcommittees of the jail, which is Representative Schmidt, and also to the chairman of the subcommittee 
of the Sheriff's Department, Representative, um, help me out. Carol. Crawford. Crawford, correct. I keep forgetting that name. So, that will be done. And the reason we're sending in and requesting that they go is, from what we have heard, specifically in our uh, monthly uh, county, of, county association meeting, that this is a federal law which is going to cost the counties a lot of money when it comes time to budget. And it's important that the delegation be there to find out so that we don't get into a budget saying, well, they don't know anything about it. It's going to cost us money. It has to do with inspections and certifications amongst other things, and we hope that I'm going to attend as the liaison between the commissioners and the, and the jail, but we hope the others will go also. Okay, that was one item. Another item that we need to take action on, um, even though the delegation approved it on Monday, and that is to do construction or rehab of the laundry area. Um, we need to make a motion that we would move forward on that. I make a motion we sign the contract with um, with uh, Excel Excel to move forward with the uh, realignment of the uh, of the laundry. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion is made and second. Any further discussion? Yes. Go so, ahead. so that there's no confusion. This is not to hook up the uh, wood pellet to the. No. To the uh, hot water system in the in the laundry. That's another whole expensive project. Whole another expensive whole project. And the okay. This is just for moving around, um, uh, changing the uh, venting, and I think buying uh, a couple of pieces of equipment. No, 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 no equipment. No equipment. It's re reorganizing that area putting all of the dryers on the outside That's wall right. so it can be vented out the outside wall rather than through the ceiling. Um, all those in support of the motion say aye. 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 Okay, and so voted. Yeah, I'll sign that too. Um, we have um, back in 2013, um, was giving a process by which we would conduct a hearing by the Board of Commissioners um, on suspensions, on um, discharge or removal from of an employee. Um, it's in the handbook as far as um, the responsibilities what we are proving today is the process that we will follow. Um, so I'm a little confused. So this was not earlier approved? No. The oh. process. Was not approved. Was not approved. This is the process. The policy Why? was, but not the, the policy. Process. That's correct. The policy was, but this is the process that you go through step by step as to who's responsible for what. Um, and so forth. So okay. we approve the policy and not the process. Right. So, right. That's, uh, so I would entertain. I'll make a motion that we ex we uh, Oops. we approve the uh, uh, procedure of suspension and or discharge or removal of an employee, and for uh, the board of commissioners hearing. This is the procedure only. Second. Now, any further questions on uh, it? May I have a discussion? Uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that somebody ought to to use that process of employee or not. I Say think we had an employee issue that actually used this process. So how can we not have a proof of them? I don't, I don't follow you. I think that somebody used that process already, an employee. We could use this as a process. Yeah, we I know, go but this. I think we had an employee issue last year, and I think we used this. We could have. So why if we already use it, 
we had that. That is what the empty use, and now we suddenly. I guess it. it's just reinforcing that this would be the process that we would use. I think you're right. I think we did use. We this. did use that. Yeah. So what we're doing because is making it formal. That we, we made decisions. They use in the process, and now we already did that with Ampli last year. Mm -hmm. And if you actually now make a motion and approve it, that means we didn't have it before. So they can come back to us and say, no, you have no process. It was never approved or it was not used. I'm not quite sure what we're doing Always, All I think we're saying is that this would be the approved way of conducting the hearing on anyone who is terminated or uh, discharged or suspended or whatever. Um, just to make it official, we can probably conduct that, but this would be um, fair to everyone that this is the process that we're going to use. Okay? okay, so that means if you start today, anything what happened, if employees moving forward, there was no process then, right? That is what you're doing now, because it starts today. So anything what happened before, they're going to come to us and say, no, the commissioner has no process. This is the day you approve it. If, if we followed this process in the past, then they, they shouldn't have any problem with it. All so, I'm trying to do is make this a formal process. Formalize it. It's formalizing it, okay? Okay. <clears throat> motion is made and seconded. You made the motion? Yes, I did. And I second. Any further discussion on the process that we use for a hearing for the Board of Commissioners to conduct a hearing. Seeing none, all those in support of the motion say aye. 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 You voted yes? Yep. Okay. Then it's unanimous and it passes. And so we'll formalize it by each of us signing it. And it's what, the 13th? Yep. received a letter from AFSCME Council 93 which deals with the union contracts for the nursing home saying that this is the notification of intent to negotiate uh, an agreement on behalf of those employees at the nursing home. Um, this is done by each of the unions to notify us that um, their intent is to renegotiate uh, for the next contract. Just information. Anything else that we need to bring up? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I yep. just uh, I take back my uh, vote. I don't agree with this. Okay. No, it's two to one. All right. I do believe, Mr. Chairman, that properly we should have to reconsider that because we just voted it in and that requires a majority vote. Can I hear a motion to reconsider? I, I make a motion to reconsider. I just take back reconsider my vote. Reconsider your vote? Yeah. Can I hear a second? Not hearing a second, uh, motion fails. Um, I will <coughs> write on the top of this that it, um, that it passed three to zero, and then a motion to motion reconsider. To reconsider failed without a second. a second. Okay? Yep. I think that concludes everything we need to do today. 
Anybody have anything further? I have nothing. Yes, okay. uh, I just want to say I went this morning to uh, the nursing home for the breakfast. Okay. Can I hear a motion to adjourn? Yeah, a motion. Uh, uh, public time. input? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have that listed. You have public input, Ed? Yes. In regards to the PREA yeah. regulations, yeah. wouldn't that be considered a federal mandate yeah. that's not being paid for? I would Isn't say that yes. I would agree with you. I agree with you. It was an administrative rule change. Is that what it is? Or I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So they're not regulations, it's just... From what we understand it, the cost is going to come from having having the jail inspected and there's only two, what they say two inspectors that are that are certified across the country and they're going to have to hold classes that we're going to have to pay for to certify local uh, local uh, corrections people to, in order to do it and then we're going to have to pay them to come and uh, and um, and inspect our facilities and then there's physical changes in the facility that are probably going to have to be made it's going to be very expensive nobody's well most people are not in support of it but it's a up through the justice department i believe so i can understand that that was for a federal prison but i'm kind of confused of how the feds can tell the states what to do on the county levels it sounds like people agree with that. And you're yeah. elected a representative. You can go down to Washington and fight that battle at, because you're absolutely right. It's a federal mandate that's coming here and appears to all of us that attend these meetings to be unfunded. Question number two. Is there anything in place now that acts as a, a PREA-type oversight to the jail? For instance, is there a rape prevention system that is for the county jails in existence now i would say the only the only thing is is the is the training that's given to the the uh, correctional officer correctional officer at the academy they obviously take in that part of it this is going to go far beyond it thank you i believe there are now more than two nationwide i think yeah, it's like the last 40. Meeting, meeting they said there were more yeah yeah. But we still but have to pay them to come here and do they it. They set their own wage, right. That's right. their they own set cost. Their own rates. Uh, they determine whether they're going to stay overnight, their travel. I mean, it's not regulated at all. One bit. Um, Stratford County is going so far as saying we will send someone from Stratford County to this to be trained so that they can train the rest of the people in the state. That I don't believe has happened yet, but that was a proposal that was, that was made at the National <coughs> Association of Counties. And everybody is concerned about it. Um, don't like it, don't like the cost, but um, it looks like we have to do it. Okay. David, didn't it come down? My, my recollection is, and I could be wrong, there was discussion about how you're going to have to segregate certain prisoners and uh, and, and well, like the juvenile situation now, only even more. Um, I'm not sure that, but this uh, even affects police departments that have holding right. cells. Right. So police departments have to follow this thing too and go to the training, and they're subject to inspections. And there are penalties, I believe, I yep. don't recall what they are, but financial penalties if you do not abide by the law. Ed, you got more? Yes, just in closing, I would think that the states should tell the feds to stay out of this. We all agree there shouldn't be improper activities in the jail, but this should be a state responsibility in state facilities. Okay. I just want to make it clear I'm not for you know, letting anything go on in jail that shouldn't happen. Right. right. Or not only in jails, but in transporting. When the sheriff transports people, um, it affects them. That's why they're... And we weren't the least bit um, uh, concerned. You, 
that we know that you don't want the federal government involved here. So that states rights issue. It's a very good point. That yeah, is. It should be the state. Okay. Absolutely. No further public or, uh, input. Or, or the federal government ought to pay for it if they're going to mandate it. Exactly. Uh, at a minimum. Do I hear a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I hear a second? Second. Motion made and seconded. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 Then we uh, stand adjourned.